today, I'm going to be cheating in a space building competition by pasting in the entire solar system. And in order to prank my friend Gold along the way, I'm going to be setting traps on each planet to make things even more chaotic. And at the end of this video, I'm even going to launch Gold into a massive black hole. Gold, are you ready for today's space building competition? Yeah, I am, Llama. Gold, what do you think you're going to be building on your side of the wall? Um, why would I tell you? Oh my gosh, Gold, good point. Well, I'm going to go over to my side and build quite possibly the coolest thing you've ever seen. All right, and first for our solar system build, I'm going to be pasting in the sun. So let me go ahead and load the sun really quick. And now let me go ahead and do slash slash paste. And boom. Oh my gosh, look at how massive our sun is. If this is the start of our solar system, I cannot wait to see how cool all of our planets look. And look, you can even see all of the cool fire that's spewing out of the star. All right, and now that we have the sun pasted in, we can go ahead and start pasting in the A planets of our solar system. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be pasting in a massive black hole. So first, let's go ahead and start with the closest planet to our sun, Mercury. So let me go ahead and load Mercury in and then go ahead and run the command slash slash paste. Boom, there we go. All right, and now that we have our very first planet pasted in, I think we should figure out what gold should do once he gets here. Because on every single planet that Gold gets to, he's gonna have to complete some sort of task. And since Mercury is the second hottest planet in the solar system, I say we progressively turn this thing into magma blocks. And while this planet is heating up, he'll have to mine down like this and then find a chest down here that contains a bunch of building blocks so that he can travel to the next planet. So I'm thinking we go ahead and build down like this and then place a the chest right there. And now let me go ahead and grab a bunch of cobblestone and place it in all like that. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and cover all this up. All right, so now that we have the first planet of our solar system pasted in, it's time to paste in our second planet, which is going to be Venus. So let me go ahead and run the command slash slash paste and boom, now we have our second planet. All right, and once gold bridges from Mercury to Venus, I say we drop a bunch of this nuclear waste TNT on him. So let me go ahead and build up just like this and then make a little platform like this. And now let me go ahead and place some dispensers around this entire platform and then get some repeaters down. Let me go ahead and connect all this up with some redstone. And perfect. Finally, all I need is a lever. And now let me go and fill all these dispensers up with nuclear TNT. All right, and now whenever the TNT drops from the sky, it'll be just like the actual planets, raining acid rain from the sky. All right, and then once gold gets past all of the nuclear acid, he'll have to bridge all the way over here to Earth. So now let me go ahead and paste Earth in. And now we have Earth, the third planet of the solar system and the planet we call home. But wait a second, where is the moon? It's completely missing. So I'm thinking we build our own moon right up here. So let me go ahead and type the command in to build all that. And perfect. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm stuck. Almost out. Perfect. And there we go. Now we have our own moon. And you know what? I'm thinking we give gold a nice little checkpoint on Earth. Because after having to endure all of the magma blocks and the acid TNT, I'm pretty sure gold is going to want to relax. But of course, we're not gonna actually let him relax because we're gonna be spawning in all of this fake water at the North Pole. And because Gold loves swimming, I know that he's gonna want to take a jump in this bad boy. But of course, once Gold gets around that trap, I'm thinking we give him some golden apples just like this, a water bucket, and of course, a diamond sword with sharpness five. Because Mars is gonna be Gold's first encounter with aliens, and he's gonna need to take them down in order to move on to Jupiter. So let me come right over here and then load Mars. So now let me go in and paste Mars in with slash slash base. Perfect. And I'm thinking that the first alien encounter that Gold has is with this massive mutant shulker. So what I'm thinking is that once Gold steps on this pressure plate right here, ginormous mutant shulker will come out and absolutely destroy him. But of course, once he's done defeating that mutant shulker, he'll be able to find this chest right over here with an elytra and three fireworks. Because I'm pretty sure that Gold is not going to want to bridge to the next planet being Jupiter. Because now we're going to be flying so far away that the sun is going to start to become not even visible. Oh my gosh, we're so far away that I can't even see the sun. All right, I think right here is going to be good because this planet is about to be insanely massive. So let me go ahead and run the command slash slash paste and paste in Jupiter. And perfect. Oh my gosh, this planet is massive. 
massive. In fact, it's even 300 times bigger than our planet Earth. And although you wouldn't normally be able to stand on Jupiter because it's a massive gas giant, I think we have gold come all the way to the top and start doing a maze throughout the entirety of the inside of this massive planet. So let me go ahead and grab some red tinted glass and start making the entrance to our massive Jupiter maze. All right, so there we go. Now I think we have the entrance to our massive 3D maze. So now let me go ahead and start building up the walls. And now let me go ahead and make holes in some of these walls like this. And so now we're gonna have a bunch of entrances for this massive maze. Oh my gosh, this maze is actually coming along pretty good. And you know what? I'm thinking we make this a little bit of a multi-layered maze. So once gold gets to, let's say, this entrance right here, we'll have him drop down to the next section. So let me make this next section orange, just like that. And now I actually need to go ahead and make the walls for this entire maze. And you know what? I'm thinking if you make it onto this path right here, you should be able to see the entire inside of this planet. Because right now, whenever you come down this chute, you'll only be able to see part of the planet. But if you manage to find this path right here, you'll be able to see the entirety of the inside of this planet. And you know, honestly, this is a little bit too easy of an exit. So let me move it right over here. And once Gold finds this exit right here, I'm thinking we just build a massive bridge all the way over here that leads him to the outside of the planet. With, of course, a nice little chest right here that has a couple more fireworks inside. So let me go ahead and give him five fireworks just like this. And so now we go and add a trap door like this. Perfect. And now we'll be able to get outside of the planet and he'll be able to go on to Saturn. And you know what? I'm thinking we paste in Saturn right over here. So let me just go ahead and load Saturn in and then paste it just like this. All right, so there we go. Now our sixth planet of our solar system has been pasted in. And oh my gosh, Saturn looks so cool with all of these rings. And now once gold gets to Saturn, I'm thinking we give him a rover. And that rover will look like this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. But instead of putting one rover in here, I'm thinking I put two in here because me and Gold are gonna have a little race. Once Gold picks up those two rovers, he's gonna go all the way over here to Saturn's rings and me and Gold are gonna race around this entire thing. But of course, not without pranking Gold a little bit because on this course, we're gonna place down a couple of mines here and there just to prank him a little bit. So let me go ahead and place a couple of mines here and there just like this. And then let me go all the way over here and place some more mines down like this. Oh my gosh, these mines are gonna be basically impossible to avoid. And so I'm thinking now we go ahead and get ourselves a little flag going just like this. That just signifies the start and end of the race. Almost done with the flag and boom, there we go. So now with this flag right here, I'm gonna give him a couple more fireworks. So let me go ahead and fly all the way over here. And now I think we're far enough away to paste in Uranus. All right, so there we go. Go, the icy planet of Uranus has been pasted in. But wait a second, this planet is missing something too. Because although you might think this planet doesn't have rings, Uranus actually has some crazy vertical rings. So now let me go in and paste in Uranus's rings. And whoa, oh my gosh, these rings are so cool. And although these rings aren't as massive as Saturn, they're still super cool because it's the only planet in the entire solar system that has rings that are completely vertical. So now once gold gets to Uranus, I'm thinking we have a complete a sand piston maze. So using pistons, gold is gonna have to get this piece of blue concrete powder all the way over here into this observer just like this, which will activate a redstone contraption giving him fireworks to get to the next planet. So I'm thinking we go ahead and build this maze up just like this. All right, and there we go. I think we have our entire maze complete. So if I set this entire roof to glass and then place all these buttons down just like this and i think if we go and play this maze just like this around like that and then of course if you make a wrong turn like this you'll have to actually be super fast so you have to press that button and then that button really fast there we go so you can obviously get super stuck in this maze but you definitely don't want to oh gosh this maze is getting kind of complicated almost done and boom there we go we completed our own maze all right and so now once this blue concrete gets pushed into that observer this block will fall down revealing this chest which of course, we're gonna put some fireworks in because we're headed to the final planet 
of our solar system. And now we can finally paste in the last planet of our solar system. So let me go ahead and load the schematic just like that. And then do the command slash slash paste. And oh my gosh, there it is. The eighth planet of our solar system. Neptune. And what's crazy about this planet is that this planet is just a massive ocean. And once again, you may not know this, but Neptune does have some very thin rings around it. So I say we go ahead and paste those in too. So let me go ahead and use the command slash slash paste. And there we go. Oh my gosh, these rings are pretty cool. And you know what? Since this planet is just a ginormous ocean, I say we go all the way down here and just make this place a massive ocean on the inside. And there we go. Now we have our massive ocean inside of Neptune. And you know what? Once gold falls into this hole into the ocean, I'm thinking we have to fight a couple of elder guardians. And then, of course, once gold defeats those mobs, he'll be able to go right over here and then find this chest with a couple more fireworks in it. Because although Neptune is the last planet, it's not gonna be his final destination. You see, gold's favorite planet is actually Pluto. But, of course, Pluto isn't a real planet. So we're gonna have gold fly all the way over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste this schematic in of Pluto. And, of course, a sign that says press if you love Pluto with a button right here that's gonna be hooked up to a bunch of TNT. All right, so let me go ahead and do this command which fills all of this up with TNT. And there we go. Let me go ahead and fill this in right here. Place one more TNT like that and perfect. So now whenever gold presses this button, a bunch of TNT is gonna go off. And of course, once gold gets blown up by Pluto, I'm thinking we send him to a black hole, which you guys are gonna have to stick around until the end of this video in order to see. But you know what? For now, this is actually pretty cool. From everything from the sun to Jupiter, all the way through Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and of course, all the way over here, tiny little Pluto. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the coolest build battles we've ever done. The only thing that's missing is an asteroid belt right here, the two moons surrounding Mars, the 87 moons surrounding Jupiter, and all of the other moons surrounding Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Oh, Gold, are you done with your build over there? Yeah, I am, Llama. All right, Gold. Well, whose build do you want to see first? Mine, of course. Oh, my gosh, Gold. Well, I'll go ahead and go over to your side if you're ready, of course. Of course I'm ready. All right, I'm coming over. Wait a second, Gold. What the heck is this? It's the moon. Wait a second, Gold, but this is a bunch of cheese. What do you mean it's the moon? That's what the moon is made of, silly. What? The moon? is it made out of cheese? What is wrong with you? A lot of things. Oh my gosh, Gold. All right, Gold. Well, show me around your moon. Well, here we've got my Honda Civic. Oh my gosh, Gold. This isn't a Honda Civic. This is a Rover. Don't drive off with my Honda Civic, Llama. Oh my gosh, but it's such a cool Rover. Oh my gosh, Gold. This Rover sucks at turning. It's so slow. I mean, we are kind of on a small planet. Oh yeah, good point. But that doesn't excuse the fact that this thing turns turns at like zero miles an hour. That's not my problem. Oh my goodness, Gold. All right, let me stay around the rest of the base. And here's my rocket. Whoa, this is actually such a cool rocket. Yeah, I know it is. Don't touch it. Oh, okay, I, I won't touch it. I won't touch it. And uh, what is this giant dirt structure? Why would you make a moon base out of dirt, silly? Well, this is where the man on the moon lives. Wait, what man on the moon? Me. Oh, good point. All right, well, do you want to show me inside? Sure. All all right, let's go. <gasps> Whoa, that's such a cool door. Yeah, it is. It's an airlock. Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually such a cool inside. You betcha it is. You gotta make sure you can withstand space. Exactly, good point. All right, so we got the upstairs, nice. Is there a nice little downstairs or something? Yeah, there is. All right, let me go down. <gasps> Whoa, wait, this is such a nice little place. It's got a nice little globe. What, a yellow couch? You know what, I'll let it slide. A nice little planet painting, some candles. Ah! Mama, why did you put them out? Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Ah, there we go. Perfect. And then what's in here, Gold? The kitchen. Oh my gosh, what do you have in your refrigerator? Oh my goodness, Gold, nothing. No, check again. Wait, oh my gosh, yellow concrete powder. Wait, what? Why would you eat a bunch of yellow concrete? What are you talking about? That's not food, Gold. There's no concrete in there. What? But there's a bunch of concrete. 
concrete powder in here, Gold. What is wrong with you? Next room. Oh my gosh. Let's see the next room. And here's the bedroom. Okay, a nice little bedroom. I like it. Nice little chest. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much cheese in here. Don't touch my cheese. Ah, my pad. And then a nice little TV. I like it. I like it. Oh, wait, you just locked me in here. Let me out. No. What? No, come on, Gold. You gotta let me out of here. Fine, I guess. I've got one last thing to show you. Oh, really? Let's go. And what exactly is that, Gold? Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Wait, what kind of TNT is this? Butter TNT? Oh, my gosh. What the heck is this? Oh, my gosh. It's turning the entire place into butter. Whoa, Gold. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was. That was the plan all along. Oh, my gosh. Wait a second. This isn't butter. This is gold. What the heck? You just turned the entire moon into solid gold. What the moon should be made of. Oh, my gosh. All right, Gold. Well, is that all you had to show me? Yeah, I didn't have much. You know what, Gold? This was actually really cool. Thanks, Llama. What do you read it? Well, Gold, since this is definitely one of your better builds, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Really? Well, what if I do this? Do what? Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Wait, you're turning your entire thing into gold. Um, Gold, I... I don't think you can get inside anymore. You just blew up your own door. I didn't blow it up. Yeah, well, you made it solid gold, silly. Oh, my gosh. See, you can still get right in. There we go. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Whatever. I'll still give you an 8.5 out of 10 because this build was pretty cool. Okay, I'll take it. Well, Lama, let's go look at your build now. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as mine. Oh, yeah? Well, come on. Let's go. Okay, Lama, I'm right behind you. Oh, my gosh. This is about to be the craziest space build you've ever seen. Seen. All right, are you ready, Gold? Let's go! Oh my gosh, is that a star llama? Yup, it's not just any star, though. It's our own sun. Oh, it's crazy huge! I know, the sun is so massive! And that's not all, because on the other side of this star is all of our rocky planets. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! That's, um, um, Mercury, uh, Venus? Yup. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and, and Mars. Mars. All right, Gold, and guess what? I built an entire adventure map for you. So if you go ahead and start right on this Mercury planet. Oh, okay. Do I have to be in survival? Yep, you gotta be in survival. And now let me go ahead and give you a diamond pickaxe and the challenge will start. And Gold, since you know that Mercury is one of the hottest planets in the entire solar system, your time is limited because I'm gonna be progressively turning this entire planet into a magma ball. So go ahead and start digging. Wait, oh my gosh. I guess I have to bridge over to Venus. Yup, you gotta find a chest and get all of the blocks you need. Or I guess you could just mine out all of the blocks that you need. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, but I found the blocks. Oh my gosh, you found the chest. Oh, gold, the planet is turning into more and more magma. You gotta hurry up. It is getting a little toasty. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, for real. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, you're on to the next planet already. Venus, right? Yup, this one's Venus. And and I made it. Yup. And, uh, Gold, do you know what Venus is known for? Um, being Venus? Well, kind of. But on Venus, it constantly rains acid rain. And I do have a little bit of a present for you. Wait, what? What? What is this? I gotta get down. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. I'm covered in acid. Whoa, Gold, are you dying right now? I don't know. I think I'm okay. But it's melting through the planet. Oh, my gosh, it is. It's completely completely destroying the entire planet. Oh my gosh, Gold, you are taking damage. You gotta get out of there fast. You're right, Mama, I do. Oh my gosh, Earth. I know that one. Yeah, Gold, it's the one that we live on. No, that's the one our parents are from, Mama. Oh my gosh. Wait, then where are we from? Good question. Oh my gosh, what is that? Ah. Oh my gosh, you died instantly. Mama, why did you trap the water? No, ah, no, 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 don't die. Here, Gold, listen, inside of the next chest is all of the items you'll need for your next destination. Okay, Llama, let's see. What's my next destination? Mars, it's right there. Well, before I go to Mars, Llama, I gotta do one thing I've always wanted to do. What's that, Gold? Let's walk on the moon. What? Oh my gosh, you made it to the moon. This belongs to me now. What? Oh my gosh, Gold. All right, Llama, now I can go to Mars. Oh my goodness, Gold. Did you just colonize the moon? I didn't colonize it. I just put my I got it. That means it's mine now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell everyone I own the moon. And there's nothing 
they can do about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess good point. I mean, your flag is right there. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Llama, I made it to Mars. What's up here? Wait a second. What's with this pressure plate? Uh, nothing. Just uh, step on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, Llama, I can't believe you're making me fight something on Mars. Yeah, Gold. Well, I mean, of course I would. It's on alien planets. Oh my gosh. Well, Gold, where did you go? I'm falling into space, Llama. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing you took that shulker with you. I did? Yeah, you did. The shulker's gone. Oh, oh, I guess I did. Cool. All right, Gold. Well, your next destination is the first gas giant of our solar system, Jupiter. Is this elytra for me, Llama? Yup, you got to use the elytra and the rockets to go all the way up to the top of the planet. Okay, Llama. Let's go. And just got to stick the landing. Oh my gosh, you're going so fast right now. All right, Gold. And now you have to complete the maze of Jupiter in order to get all of the fireworks you need to get to Saturn. Not a maze. I hate mazes. Llama. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to finish some of these walls. What do you mean you forgot to finish some of the walls? Well, I mean, obviously, did you see right there there was no walls? No, I thought it was just parkour. Oh, good point. I mean, I guess it could be parkour. Wait a second. Why does this one lead outside? So that you could see the entire inside of the planet. This is really cool, Llama. I know. It's super awesome. What if I go down here? Oh my gosh. Wait, you found a shortcut. You Bet I did, because I'm the most is smartest. Oh my gosh, Gold, of course you're the most is smartest. And then up I go. Let's go, you did it. Uh, now on to Saturn. But what if I want to do the maze again? I mean, you could do the maze again if you wanted to. No, it was lame. Oh my gosh, well, Saturn is right over here. Oh my gosh, I can see Saturn's rings from here. I know Saturn's rings are the coolest in the entire solar system. I don't know about that one, Llama. What? Which rings are cooler? Um, I really like Neptune. <gasps> Neptune's rings? What? Oh my gosh, Gold, you just fell off! Oh my gosh, Gold, how did you? Oh my gosh. Gold, I think you forgot to put your elytra back on. I forgot to put the elytra on. My bad, Llama. All right, let's go. Time to go to the top of Saturn. The top of Saturn? Okay. All right, it's almost there, and here we are. And I only needed two rockets. Oh my gosh, that's it. Check it out. And Gold, there's one rover for you and one rover for me. What are we going to use the rovers for? Gold, I think you know exactly what we're going to use the rovers for. We're going to race on the rings of Saturn. Oh, but Llama, I suck at racing. Oh, come on, Gold. You're going to do just fine. I mean, if you say so. All right, Gold. So if we go right here, I'll place my rover down just like this. And I'll place mine right here. Perfect. All right, Gold. Are you ready for this epic race? I guess so. All right, then let's go in three, two, one, go. Oh, my gosh. Uncle, just be sure that you watch out for those mines. Wait, what do you mean mines? Uh, I mean mines. Oh, my gosh. Wait, are they not exploding or something? No, I'm just good at missing them. What? Oh, my goodness. Catch up, Llama. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking I go a little bit off the track. Let's go. Wait a second. That's cheating. What? I'm not cheating. I'm just using my reason sources properly. But you built this, so you know the path. That means you're cheating. Oh my gosh, I guess you're kind of right. Oh my gosh, Llama, you got so far ahead of me. I know, I'm literally the best. And oh my gosh, you can even see Jupiter from here. Oh my gosh, you can. It's such a big planet. I know. Oh my gosh, I got stuck. Whoa. Ah. Oh my gosh, wait, the one of the mines work. That's not funny, Llama. But you know what that means, Gold? I get to go ah. ahead. Oh my gosh, did you blow up again? Maybe. Which means I get to get even farther ahead. Let's go. Wait, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Uh, Gold, are you cheating? Uh, no. Oh, my goodness. Ah, wait, I just blew up to my own mind. What the heck? And I crossed the finish line. No, I'm about to cross it with you. Let's go. Oh, I still won. What? Oh, my gosh, but you cheated. Um, you cheated in the first place. I mean, fair enough. But now it's time to move on to the next planet. You're in it. Okay. Let's go. But Gold, check it out. Check out the rings of Uranus. Yeah, they're really not as cool as Saturn. What? They're super cool, though. They're completely vertical. Yeah, they're kind of lame, Llama. What? Oh, my gosh. Well, Gold, good luck with this piston maze because this is how you're going to need to unlock the next set of fireworks. Dang it, I messed it up already. What? No, you didn't, Gold. What am I supposed to do for me? 
here. You're supposed to press this button, which extends the sticky piston and grabs the block and pulls it towards it. What do you mean? There you go. See, you can push the block and you can pull it. Oh, this is lame, Llama. What do you mean it's lame? I got my own way. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just did that. That was easy. Oh my goodness. Well, good luck because your next planet is Neptune. Oh, I love Neptune. Oh yeah? Um, Gold, what's your favorite planet? Uh, my favorite planet's Pluto, Llama. What? Pluto isn't even a planet, silly. What do you mean it's not a planet? Of course it is. Oh my gosh, Gold. Everyone knows Pluto is no longer a planet. Wait a second, Llama. Are those Elder Guardians? Yup, you gotta go fight them. Or I could just swim around them. Oh my gosh, you're totally just gonna dodge a fight, aren't you, Gold? Um, you bet. Oh my goodness. Well, if you want to do that, the chest is right over here. Oh, cool. I already found the chest. Yup, I guess you're just that good. You're right, I am. All right, Gold, on to their final destination. Oh, there's an exit right here. How convenient. I know. Oh my gosh, Gold, you forgot to put your elytra on again. Don't worry, Llama. I'm quick with it. Oh my gosh, wait. Did you somehow put your elytra back on? You bet I did. Okay, well, uh, Gold, read the sign. Press if you love Pluto. Press what? This button? Yeah. Of course I love Pluto. It's my favorite planet. Oh my gosh, Gold. It's definitely not a planet. And it's definitely not going to be a planet after this. Ah! Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was insane. I can't believe you blew up Pluto, Llama. What? I mean, it's not even a planet. But it was my favorite. What? Oh my gosh, Gold. Well, you know what? I have something that's even cooler than Pluto. Nothing's cooler than Pluto. What? Not even a black hole? What's that? Well, Gold, it's something that's really giant and also super dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because it eats everything. Wait, really? Yup, and you're going there right now. Have fun, Gold. Wait, but what if I get hurt? Uh, don't worry, Gold. You won't get hurt. Bye! I don't know how to fly a rocket! Don't worry, Gold. It's on autopilot. Well, guys, I'm gonna see you at the black hole. Alright, and here it is. The massive black hole. And now all we have to do is wait for Gold. Oh my gosh, look! There he is! Oh boy, he's coming in hot! Oh my gosh! Oops. I told you I didn't know how to drive drive, Llama. Oh my gosh, of course you don't. All right, Gold, well, your final task on this black hole is to defeat these three weather skeletons. Go, go, go. Oh my go. gosh, what the heck, Llama? Get him. Attack. Take that. Oh my Take gosh, that. these guys are insane. Whoa, what is happening to their eyes right now? What do you mean, what is happening to their eyes? I don't know. I don't know. These mutant wither skeletons are crazier than any mutant wither skeletons I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, they're so strong, Llama. I know. Come on, Gold, you got this! Attack! Oh my gosh, you keep getting thrown in the air! Come on, come and get some! Oh my gosh, Gold, they're throwing you all the way down the black hole! Don't die! I'll do my best, Llama! Okay, Gold, wait, those two weather skeletons are fighting down there! That's perfect! I know, so you can focus on one at a time! Whoa, you did it! Now I can go take out the last one! Where'd he oh go? Oh my gosh, wait, I think he fell in the black hole, but he's trying to jump back up! Whoa! Oh, um, Gold, watch out! Watch out for what? Um, I don't know. I think he just fell on the inside of the black hole, and I think he's gonna stay down there. Oh, really? He can't get away that easy. Oh, my gosh! Come on, attack! Oh, my gosh, you did it! That's because I'm the boss. Yup, uh, Gold Wolf, that's the end of my build. What did you think of it? That was really cool, but there was a lot of stuff. Yeah, I know. It was one of my greatest builds of all time. Mama, did you really build this? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Because you've cheated every single time. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, why would I cheat this time? Because you had no reason not to. Uh, do you have any proof? Yes, every other time you've cheated. Hmm. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I guess you're right. I did cheat. Dang it, Llama. Why do you keep cheating? I don't know, Gold, but uh, I guess that means that you win the building competition. Oh, let's go. Yep, and that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And click on the video on screen to watch more. Woo!